Good morning, Senator. My name is Brianna Black. I am a Sport State Ambassador for Marshall County. And um, today I would like to ask you a few questions. Senator, good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Good morning to you. How are you? I'm doing all right. Thank you. Good. All right. So the first question is, can you please describe me a typical day as a senator? I can. Uh, that, that day depends on whether or not we're in session or not. Um, we, we go in session every year uh, for a total of 30 legislative days, but that can be a little confusing because um, we, that typically lasts about three months. Um, okay. We go into session on Tuesdays um, and Thursdays actual or actual session dates where we uh, vote on bills as a, as, a, as a legislative body. And then Thursday, or excuse me, Wednesdays are committee days. That's the days that um, we uh, have our committee work. And, and each senator serves on about, about six committees. We, um, in, the, in the past, last session, I served on 10. And we, we worked ourselves to death. Um, I thought it was good for our district to serve on, on more committees, but it definitely wasn't good, uh, yeah. good, good for, for me. Um, some committees overlapped and I found myself me having to miss some. And, and I just, if you're going to serve on anything, I think that you should, you should be, be active on it. So we, we kind of changed the rules this time and, and limited each senator to six committees. Yeah. Uh, and so um, that's, that's been much, much better. And I'm, I'm able to focus more on, on, on those individual committees. Um, so, so those days are, committee days are still very busy. Um, right. you, you know, in and amongst all your meetings, you still have constituents that come uh, to visit and, and, and I, uh, you know, really, um, I think it's important to make time for them if they if they have made the, the, the trip to Montgomery, um, then then they should um, they should have access to their their senator, um, and then and then you know a lot of uh, a lot of meetings because you're you know you're dealing with deals that involve a lot of different groups and that affect a lot of different groups, and so you have. Yeah. To, try to build consensus. And so there's, there's a lot of meetings with a lot of different groups and individuals in, in the meantime. So, um, and then on, on, you know, preparing for session, you know, reading the bills, some of us actually read the bills. Um, and so, um, you know, those, you know, there's a, a lot of preparation at nighttime after dinner back at the hotel that, that you have to prepare for the bills that may be in committee the next day or, or that will be uh, voted on um, by, by the body. And so, um, so session time is, is, a, is, a, is a very, very busy time. When, when we're out of session, a typical day, you know, I, I, I farm, I have chicken houses and cattle. And so, um, um, you know, that's, that's what pays the bills. So, uh, you know, like give you an example of this morning. I was at the farm at six, and um, and made it back. He got as much done as I could. I didn't complete everything I needed to do, but uh, uh, got back, uh, showered and changed. And, and uh, uh, people appreciate that if you've been in the chicken houses. Not bad. And then uh, and then back at the office for for a, a day of meetings. So. Typically pretty busy, but I've I've always always worked hard. I grew up on the farm, and um, and and um, you know the I think one of the the best gifts that my family gave me, other than um, being a Christian, uh, was uh, is a good work ethic, and uh, I, I enjoy I enjoy hard work. So that's a typical day. Thank you. Um, the second question: What is the best thing about your job? There's no question. I, I really enjoy helping people. Um, I enjoy, um, I, I, I like to work on big projects. Um, I've, I've, you know, some of the, some of the things that I've, I've done, um, 
is really work with the state parks to improve state parks around the state. Um, I came up with and sponsored Amendment 2, uh, which was on the ballot several years ago that, that basically says that if you spend money in the state parks, then that money stays in the state parks. Um, the legislature had been um, taking money from the parks for a while because they generate dollars. And so the park that kind of led to the decline of the parks. They had um, they weren't able to to upgrade things and um, you know do things to bring in more tourists and, and increase revenue. Um, the thing that I've really been focused on now is rural broadband. I've spearheaded the efforts on rural broadband, and um, that has been a, a, a labor of seven years now. Um, and I, I literally started with. Um, with, with begging people just to listen to me on the issue. And now it's, you know, one of the biggest issues and a hot topic that, that we're dealing with, especially with the, the, the COVID. Um, yeah. And so, so it's um, knowing, seeing the fruits of your labor being enacted that, that impact the state of Alabama and a lot of people at that um, is, is, is one of my favorite things. I, you know, I really try to focus on economic development. Um, you know, I believe that a lot of problems are solved for people if they have a job and they have income coming in. Um, and so, um, you know, I really focus on making the state, um, and especially our local area more business friendly through, through policy, through infrastructure, yeah. so that we can we can recruit more jobs here and so that hopefully younger people will have more opportunities to stay in areas like ours and stay in the state of Alabama not not have to leave and go to Atlanta and and uh, and, and New York and places like that and so um, I, I, I love seeing um, I love seeing new opportunities being created for for people throughout the state which ultimately um, will help them for generations to come. So that's the yeah. most, that's my favorite thing. It's, it's the most rewarding. All right, um, third question. What drew you to want to become a senator? Well, um, I, I, was, um, I was 29 years old, um, which for a lot of 4 agers probably seems pretty, you know, pretty old, but, um, um, it, uh, it it definitely was, and I was the youngest member of the Alabama Senate for um, two full terms. Now there's a person that's a month younger than me, so I don't have that distinction anymore. Um, but I was 29 years old when I decided to run, and um, I just didn't like the way that our state was headed. Um, I thought that we were lagging and lacking in a lot of areas. Um, you know, I had um, been out of Auburn for only, you know, uh, seven years at the time. And, and, and you know, I had, um, I had seen my classmates have to leave the state um, to, get, to get jobs. And... Um, and I, I, I refuse to believe that Alabama um, is not a great place to live, um, that can't have the same opportunities that, that the other states that they were leaving had or leaving to had. Um, and um, I, I guess I just um, I just had enough of it. Um, I think when really what kind of in, I think inflamed me the most was in 2006, the legislature gave themselves a 63% pay raise, um, which we, I'm proud to say, repealed that. Um, but that's kind of what got me um, interested and, and really started to pay attention. Um, and, and over time, you know, over the next really, I guess, three years, I paid a lot of attention. Yeah. and um, saw how um, far behind we were in education with our math scores and reading scores, um, that we continued to go into proration in education and why that was. Um, and, 
you know, why our, our infrastructure was, was not in the, the shape that, that other states were. Um, and so, um, and then you saw, you know, as far as, as far as ethics and things like that, how Alabama was lacking in, in ethics laws. Um, you know, and so, so I just, I, I just decided I was going to put my name in the hat and, um, and, uh, move that work ethic into, into a campaign and, and, uh, and, and won. And, um, it, it was a, it was a, it, one of the hardest things I've ever done. It was 11 months of, of just talking to people and, and, uh, you know, just, you know, I went door to door. I knocked on, I don't know how many doors and, and, uh, and had put, put a lot of my own money in. Um, it, it, I could get people to vote for me at 29, but I couldn't give them, get them to donate money. Yeah, that was that was much more difficult. I think a lot of people thought I'm going to vote for him, and I don't, I don't know if he's got a chance. Right. Um, and uh, and we we wound up we wound up pulling it off, and and um, it definitely it definitely changed my life. I I could have um, had a you know continue with a quiet life on the farm, and um, and it, uh, it it's definitely not a quiet life anymore. That's for sure. Yeah. So um what skills and abilities and personal attributes are essential for success in your field well you know i get back to work ethic i think work ethic is is important in in any field uh, that you you go into um i i think that communication is important uh, being able to um communicate with 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 people whether it be constituents or um, whether it be other other colleagues, other senators that you you need to communicate your ideas and your thoughts to, um, I think um, that your your ability to work with people um, and and you know one thing you don't hear a lot of on the national level is compromise. I think you're you're. Um, one of the problems that we have right now in this country, especially in Washington, is is people are not willing to compromise, right. uh, and and that is a um, uh, that is an a, you know a disease not unlike COVID, I, I believe. Um, I'm proud to say that I think the Alabama Senate is very good at compromise. We work very well together. Um, um, from both sides of the aisle. Um, there are obviously some areas that, that we're too far apart and we can't compromise on, but there are a lot of areas, the vast majority of them, um, that aren't very partisan. Um, education, for instance, um, is, is um, something that, that a lot of people work, work together on for the same end. Um, but uh, I think that, uh, that those things are probably the most important um, important things. I, I think a strong character, um, your, um, um, uh, you know, morals and, 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 um, you know, things like that, I think are, are extremely important. Um, I think probably the most important, we don't want to send a bunch of crooks, uh, to, uh, to be in, in, in office. That's, right. that's, that's bid us a, a lot of times. And so, um, you know, luckily with our ethics laws, you, you, today that we have reformed, uh, you, you probably get caught. Um, yeah. so if you've got any, uh, any thoughts about getting in there and coming out wealthier because of the job, you, you probably don't need to do it. So yeah. I think those are the most important, uh, characteristics. Um, what are some of your main responsibilities as a senator? Well, um, being responsive, really, I, I, the, the interesting thing about it is constitutionally, the, the only thing that, that a senator or representative has to do in the state of Alabama is pass a balanced budget. Yeah. Constitutionally, that is the only thing that we, we have to do. 
Um, but 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 definitely being responsive to constituents. Um, you know, answering we we answer a lot of questions here that that at the legislative office and my office in Montgomery that constituents have concerning legislation or concerning um, concerning anything. Um, we even tell people where certain buildings are that they need to go to um, for assistance. Um, you need to be able to help people. You know, we we help a tremendous amount of people. We have. Um, especially here at our office in Gunnersville, we've helped a lot of people with unemployment through, through COVID, a lot of people um, and, uh, and, and, and other issues. Um, you know, to, to um, see things, you know, another, another very important responsibility is to be creative and, and see, see things that the state uh, or our area is lacking. And, and, and try to resolve those and fix those, such as rural broadband. Um, and, and, you know, bring, bring people together that, that, uh, uh, that have the resources to try to, try to fix that. Um, so those are, those, are, those are typically, I would say, um, uh, you know, my, my responsibilities that, that, that I, I have and, and, and focus on on a, on a you know, daily basis. Yeah. So what was your very first job before becoming a senator? A farmer. I've, I've always farmed. Um, you know, we, um, I graduated <laughs> Auburn in 2003 and um, majored in agricultural business and economics. I had the great fortune of being a third generation uh, Auburn agriculture grad. My, my grandpa finished in 1947. Um, when it was still called Alabama Polytechnic Institute. And he was an agriculture major. Uh, he was ag ed. He never, he never, uh, uh, well, he, I say he never taught. He never taught in school. He actually taught the GIs when they came back from World War II, taught them poultry science. Um, and uh, and then my dad finished in general agriculture in 1977 from Auburn. And then um, then I, I, you know, finished in, in Ag Econ, and uh, I, I came home um, in 2003, immediately after graduation, um, and helped my family on the whole time. Pilgrims are, well, Gold Kiss at the time, now it's Pilgrims Pride. Um, they weren't allowed, or they weren't letting any contracts to build chicken houses at the time, so um, we waited patiently. I was the first on the list, at least. Um, we waited, uh, waited patiently and, and, uh, worked for a couple of years. Uh, I, my, my take home pay with a college degree after taxes was $237 and 87 cents a week. Wow. Doing really hard labor. We were clearing land at the time and, uh, we bought a sawmill, a portable sawmill, and it was, it was, it was not, there were a lot of days, there were a lot of days that I would think, you know, you've got a, you've got a college degree and you're doing this. And that's where I learned patience. Yeah. Um, and so, um, and humility, definitely learned humility. Um. I'm I'm very I'm very thankful for those few years before I I was able to build my first set of chicken houses. Uh, finally, in 2005, uh, got a contract to build chicken houses. Got built four chicken houses. By the end of the year, I bought four more from my uncle. Then a few years later, I started a a contracting company that we focused on hydroseeding and erosion control. Um, yeah practices and then um, um, ran all that until uh, until I became a, a candidate and then I, I sold my contracting company because I, I couldn't do it all. Right. I, I knew I needed to focus my time on serving the people that um, that that uh, that I served. So so that that was my first first job and I'm I'm still still doing it. I've all I've done is farm be a contractor and State Senator. Yeah. Um, what was your major in college? 
it was agricultural business and economics and it was a it was a great major because I, um i learned a lot of lot of you know business um business practices learned uh, economics always enjoyed economics and which serves me very well um in the in the in the state senate very well and in, indeed um and then and then agriculture so it was a great mix um um of things that you know i i, I still use today and and the college of ag you know it they our professors really challenged us there um you know i, I you know, not not downing the College of Business, but I, I had a lot of courses in in what was called Louder Hall at the time, the business building. It was all multiple choice tests, and um, in the College of Ag, it was short answer essay type t tests so on, on you know a lot of a lot of my classes, which as you know are 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 more difficult. Um, than than multiple choice. Well, I guess it depends on the professor, but um, but they really challenged us. Um, and the interesting thing about it, when I graduated, um, the you know there there a lot of companies weren't weren't hiring. You know, students were were having trouble finding jobs in their fields. But um, ag economics uh, at that time had a one hundred percent hiring rate. It was it was very interesting. So uh, I didn't know anyone that didn't have a job immediately upon graduation. Um, so I enjoyed that major, and I'd encourage folks to to look into that major. It's a very yeah. it's a very well rounded major. Yeah. Um, if you could do it all over again, would you choose the same path for yourself? And if not, what would you change? No question, I, I would. It, it's 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 been very rewarding being able to help um help folks that we've helped to to be able to see you know as i said earlier um your work being enacted um and 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 see see the economy improve and see things that you know well i voted on this bill or i fought hard for this bill and now we're able to see um see the rewards of it for instance the i always tell people the rolling reserve budget act that, that I, I i campaigned on that bill and um they've been trying to pass that bill for years and it, it kept, kept dying it changed the way that we budget in alabama um it 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 forced us to budget off an average of what revenues were instead of just guessing what they were mm -hmm. um and then it forced us to put money into a reserve account. And since we've passed that, the state hasn't gone into proration. And at your age, that's probably foreign. You probably don't know what proration was. What would happen? What would happen was um, the, the legislature would take a guess of what revenue they would, they would guess way high, much higher than what they were ever going to be and they would budget off that in education and then halfway through the school year they'd say we're not going to hit those target numbers so they would cut the schools they would basically say well we're going to have to cut you by you know 10 percent um and that that was very difficult it wasn't good for schools it wasn't it definitely wasn't good for students Right. So to see that, so that have you even heard? Have you heard of proration? Mm -mm. Yes, sir. That makes it worthwhile. That's why I wouldn't change a thing. That's why I wouldn't. I wouldn't take it back. Yes. That's something I always dealt with. We we dealt with at my age a lot, I and mean, you, you know, at your age doesn't have to deal with things like that. That's what makes it worthwhile. Uh, yeah. Well. I wouldn't change a thing. And there's been a lot that you have to sacrifice in this, in this job. There's a lot of sacrifice. You know, you don't make as much money. Your opportunity costs are different. While, you know, instead of being on my farm, I'm, I'm having to, you know, be in Montgomery and, and focus on that. And um, because I'm gone, I have to hire people to be there. And so my labor 
costs go up and um so so there there is a sacrifice and that's okay yeah uh, it's my choice to do that and and i think i think public service should be a sacrifice um and so uh you know i wouldn't i wouldn't change a thing all right last question what advice would you give to youth interested in your job um you know, really, you know, study hard, um, you know, know what the job entails. Talk to some of us that are that are in it. Um, don't get discouraged. Um, don't let anyone tell you that you're too young or inexperienced. Um, because I heard that. Um, you know, one thing that I did before I even became a, became a candidate is I actually studied. I, I searched online and, and read and understood how we budget, why we budget, um, you know, what the structure of state government. I wanted to know that I had the propensity to do the job before I, before I, I, I did it. Um, I wanted to, to, to know what the time situation was, the financial situation was, could I afford to do it? Um, and so, um, you know, just, you know, study and know, know what you are doing, know what you are getting yourself into. I have seen, I have seen people who run, who get in office for four years and, and because of finances or personal issues, they only serve one term um, and you really can't get a whole lot done in one term. It takes seniority to really get um, the relationships built to, you know, um, get a, a, an understanding of, of, of how the process works and, and, uh, and just general knowledge of, of state government. And so, um, you know, make sure that, Make sure that you can you can do the job and 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 that that you're going to do you're going to do a good job at it. Um, you know, get involved in your community, um, join civic groups, join um, um, you know um, um, you know get involved in, in in leadership positions in your church and 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 you know figure out if you figure out if you you are a leader and if you are develop your leadership skill yeah. uh, develop your interpersonal skills working with people and and um and see if you have the temperament for it um you know you you need to be patient you need to um you know i i i always mention to the freshmen uh, to get elected to um you know, leave your, when you come in the state house, leave your emotions at the door. And we're here to conduct business with decorum and um, to get into shouting matches with people and, 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 and be offended by certain, you know, disagreements with someone or because someone's district is different or looks different than yours. Um, is is that's not the place to do it and we can do battle on the senate floor um i'm gonna fight for my district and my colleague at the next microphone is gonna fight for his or her district and um but when we when we leave that chamber we can leave as friends and and that is a policy that that i have and 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 um so you know um i'd say those those are the areas that, that I would focus on. Make sure you can do it. Make sure you have the temperament to do it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Senator.